Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man and his wag. Thank you so much for the outpouring of appreciation for the return of not just Rimworld, but Dark Avak and Yoko in the comments on the last episode. I mean, I, let's be honest, I, I think it's fair to say that Dark Avak and Yoko are a bit of a fan favourite, so I, I wasn't too entirely surprised when uh, people were reasonably happy to see their return, but I really wasn't prepared for just how much engagement the episode got, so I want to offer a very heartfelt and Cecilia, thank you to everyone who liked the video, who posted comments on the video, who just chatted amongst themselves about where they thought the series was going to go. There were some amazing, amazing little short stories there. Uh, but before we get down to uh, proper business of rimworlding, I do want to actually address a couple of the comments. First and foremost, thank you so much to Cat Bells, who pointed out that Yoko, uh, the Dark Havoc wasn't Yoko's master, and it's probably not making either one of them particularly happy. Thank you, that completely escaped my attention. Furthermore, to uh, Yadira Camacho, Robert Jones, uh, Danica, Discord, and Age the Mage, thank you for pointing out that apparently beds can no longer be used as seats. More's the pity, really. Also, as a, as a side note, apparently a workbench can no longer have uh, the same chair as a seat for multiple workbenches. Uh, so with that in mind, we're going to have to move that around a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Thank you very much for that, though, because I, I was completely laboring and uh, some old and outdated information on that one. But what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well, I mean, Yoko's food is good, and Dark Avoc has a little bit there as well. I I think one of the first things we're going to want to get down to really is uh, some more research. So what are we going to research? Uh, let's have a look down here. Where's our electricity? There we go. We really need to get solar panels. That's honestly going to be one of the big ones for us. So let's uh, pop that down there. Now, hopefully Dark Avac will be able to get that done. Uh, I will be trying to schedule some time for Dark Avac to specifically work on that job. But for the, for the time being, I think we're just going to have to accept that we're going to need another wind turbine in order to get everything going. Now, hmm, how are we going to fit that in? I mean, the, the usual way of doing it is to have the wind turbines kind of overlapping. One of the really nice things about Toxic Fallout, I mean, one of the very few nice things about it, really, is that uh, trees aren't going to randomly grow in the uh, spots that I've designated for my wind turbines. So I don't have to worry about concreting this. Leaving it as dirt is perfectly fine. Uh, for those of you who were concerned that I hadn't made it part of the home zone, don't worry, I will be making it part of the home zone when it breaks. I Well, I mean, I could add it to the home zone now, I suppose. But uh, for the time being, I think... Oh, actually, we're still doing okay. How's Yoko doing? Still doing okay. All right, well, well, we can allow Dark Havoc to continue to uh, move about freely then. So, uh, yes, he will be able to repair this. But uh, sometimes having uh, this set up like that isn't going to help because if this isn't in a zone that they're allowed and there will be times when I have to completely restrict access to uh, any zone that isn't roofed then unfortunately uh, it won't matter that I've designated it to be part of the home zone they won't get that done uh, but I do want to expand out the home zone a little bit more or rather the roofed zone let's uh, put it that way now I'm thinking yes we're going to have another wind turbine over here just to uh, make sure that we've got plenty of room in here it was pointed out that we absolutely don't require the battery to be inside and that is a very good point since we're making a point of roofing everything yeah we should get that out outdoors and that'll give us a little bit more storage space so we really don't want to use this room too aggressively for for our needs in fact we need to start thinking about a a proper bedroom for dark havoc and b room for prisoners because there are eventually going to be some i mean <laughs> not that they will really be here for very long i mean depending on how things go <sighs> and uh, at this point there's going to be part of me that's like, but, but why do you need such a big room to be happy? Why can't you be like dwarfs? Dwarves are fine if you just give them a two by three. They're more than happy with a two by three, in fact. Some might say, well, that's frankly too much. Uh, aesthetic is truly a wonderful quality to have for your colonists. Uh, it just keeps things under control when they don't really want a massive ostentatious bedroom. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have Dark Havoc do a little bit of mining down here with a view to setting this up as uh, a little bedroom, I think. It's not going to be too too much. It'll probably, it, it probably won't be big enough for him to be particularly happy with it. But we'll also be keeping an eye on underground, uh, sorry, overhead mountain roofs. We do not want to expose ourselves to any of those. So I will bring you back when we've made a bit of progress. 
And as Dark Ava gets a little bit of sleep on the 10th of April, May, we've got our first quest. Now, as far as I'm aware, royalty will always send you this quest. You don't have to take it. There are other ways of getting what this quest effectively offers, but we're going to be taking it. The Spineless Count. A new quest has become available. It's called the Spineless Count. Well, very well, let's have a quick look. Marcus Arianite, a count of the Broken Empire, is calling from nearby. He's being followed by an angry Yorkshire Terrier. He says he only wanted to see the landscape on a quick walk and never expected such a deadly threat. You know, the Yorkshire Terrier, you know, as opposed to the fact the sky is literally raining poison. Arianites wants you to keep him safe at the colony for a few hours until his shuttle can come pick him up. He promises not to be offended by your body odors or lack of manners. He will bestow eight royal favor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough favor to receive the royal title of yeoman and all benefits that come with it, including a psychic amplifier that gives psychic abilities. Be warned, those with titles tend to become haughty and needy. Don't worry, we will not become haughty and needy at being a yeoman. Uh, we will happily accept this quest. Ah, yes, we've got to choose who we accept it with, because uh, whoever accepts the quest is the one that will receive the royal favor. Hello down there. Let's have a quick look at you. Okay, so you're not bad at shooting, actually. You're going to be incapable of so much because you're a count. But look at all these psychic abilities. Pain block, blinding pulse, vertigo pulse, wall raise, invisibility, and manhunter pulse. Almost none of them we want you to use, but we uh, desperately need you, because you're currently a part of the colony, to uh, head back and just get inside, please. And thank you. Come on. That's right. Chop, chop. There we go. That should uh, be a nice... We've got an angry Yorkshire Terrier. The angry Yorkshire Terrier has come to get uh, Marcos Aranites. While it is weak, it does appear to be highly motivated. I like you, little Yorkshire Terrier. I don't want to have to kill you, frankly. Even though you are delicious, delicious meat. I respect your, your gigantic dreams. You are dreaming big, and I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, but you know what? You can continue doing a little bit of research for me. As you can see, we are getting to work on Dark Avax Room. Unfortunately, we immediately hit the uh, the overhead mountain roof tile. So we're going to have to avoid that. And uh, on this note, let's go ahead and reinstall the bed just down here. I think that would be fine. It's going to be a pretty cramped room. He's not going to be a huge fan of it, I'm going to be honest with you. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, where is our little Yorkshire Terrier friend? There, all the way down there. Uh, all right. Well, let's get that bed installed. There we go. Uh, I would like it if you could move everything out of there. I... Yoko, uh, I feel that the Yorkshire Terrier is coming. And, and you're 100% allowed to eat it if you really want to. Uh, I mean... I could tell you to attack the moment that uh, the Yorkshire Terrier comes around. Uh, shuttle leaving in 18 hours. Well, you know what? I kind of like you doing some work, honestly. So uh, I'm perfectly okay with you just standing there and doing some more work for me. We need to get some chairs, though. Now, I could go for a steel stool. Steel stool will offer very minimal comfort. Uh, or I could go for a steel dining chair. Let's have a look at that. A bit more comfort and quite beautiful, actually. And I kind of need that. So we're going to pop a dining chair right there. And we desperately need some form of entertainment because uh, Dark Havoc is slowly losing his mind. Uh, we will go for a steel chair stable. Now, hmm, where would be best to pop a steel chair stable? I actually kind of feel that uh, hmm, for the time being, we will... Yeah, we'll allow the uh, the dining chair to be here. We'll cancel the way that we're placing it. Look, you, you can just turn the dining chair in whichever way you particularly want, okay, Dark Havoc? You will have it sat there so that you can easily access either device. And we'll pop the, the chest table right there. It'll be fine. If that Yorkshire Terrier gives you any weird looks, Yoko, you are perfectly allowed to just devour the thing with one chomp. It'll probably go for Dark Havoc the moment it spies that Dark Havoc is out and about. Yeah, looks like it has. Uh, in that case... Donk and uh, disabled. No animals of it. What? What do you mean, no animals? Oh wait, ha! Huh. You're not following him into war. Well, that's a, a a silly mistake. Go ahead, Yoko. You're allowed to just just destroy the Yorkshire Terrier. There we go. Womp. You're also allowed to haul its corpse and then devour the corpse as well. So there we go. <laughs> Good old Yoko. Let's actually have a look at that log just for the, the, the funds of it. Though it is a little bit sad. Yoko scratched the Yorkshire Terrier, injuring her right rear leg, right rear paw, and body. 
The Yorkshire Terrier flailed while trying to scratch Yoko, terror in her eyes, at the enormous canine that was now bearing down upon her. Yoko lacerated the Yorkshire Terrier's body to fragments. The Yorkshire Terrier perished. Well done, Yoko. Well done. All right, well, I want to uh, make sure that we have got a butcher creature order. In fact, let's make sure that this is set up for pretty much ever. Uh, I will set this up forever, but I will disable it when, when I need it disabled. Now, we are going to allow our visiting noble here to make themselves useful for once in their life, and uh, they can do a fair old bit of research for us. Uh, how is that? Well, it's not going to be great, but, you know, it'll, it'll do. There we go. We'll just chop this up for more meat for for Yoko, and then we also get the uh, the uh, leather there as well, which is a resource that we don't actually have very much of right now. Also, uh, why is Yoko not sleeping in here? My lord, that's awful. Let's uh, get you in there. There you go, and let's have a look at how the roof is. Honestly, we're probably going to be able to push the steel quite far back, which will be uh, reasonably nice. There we go. And with that, how much more steel do we need? We actually need... No, we we need a lot more than we've got. Okay, well, we're going to be uh, digging up steel for a little bit until I absolutely need to send you off. But where... Ooh. Oh, that's not good. You're very unhappy. Why? What do you mean my lovely little home is, is unbecoming of a count? You scallywag. So's cowardice, I'll have you know. Go on, then get in the shuttle. If you lose your mind on the way to the shuttle, I will cry. Nope, there we go. Send the shuttle off, and there we are. Quest complete. Let's uh, pause that there. Freeholder title has been gained, and the human title has been gained. So Dark Avic is now climbing the ranks of nobility. This is rather good. No one's going to question a noble when he says, no, this is my this is my loyal war walk. I am 100% allowed to have it. No, those bionics are absolutely necessary. Take your filthy peasant eyes off her. Uh, psychic amplifier, and our quest is complete. Goodbye, spineless count. Uh, I mean, you know, would they really have missed the spineless count? I mean, probably. Unfortunately, probably. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and install this psychic amplifier then and see what powers Dark Avatar gets. It's kind of a bit random what power they're going to have from it. Uh, we've gained Pain Block as uh, Dark Avatar's power. He is now psychic. Block pain pathways in the target's brain for a short time. This can allow a person to move and act even with grievous injuries, which would normally incapacitate them. It lasts for 120 seconds. That's a massive bonus over what it used to, to last for. Uh, but it costs 10 entropy. Entropy is, for all intents and purposes, your mana pool, but you can push past it. But if you start put, making your brain do more work than, than it wants to do, you're going to start feeling uh, some rather dire negative effects. And uh, none more dire than uh, your brain exploding or you becoming, you know, aff afflicted with dementia and other such unfortunate things. Uh, there we go. Let's make sure that the roof is extending all the way down here because you can never trust it. Uh, to do exactly what I wanted to do. Right, well, with that done, we're going to have to continue our research. We do need to get some plants growing up and running pretty soon. I do want to get the the um, recreation uh, chess table up and running, though, because Dark Havoc is, is very, very unhappy about uh, the, the lack of recreation, though. Uh, though that being said, uh, it seems that you probably just chatted with Yoko, honestly, and that lifted your spirits a bit. Uh, to be fair, you're chatting with Yoko, of course, would lift your spirits. Also, Dark Havoc is reasonably happy. Uh, this is disabled. He he isn't worried about it. I think there may be a face on my clothes. Oh no, my clothes are a face. That's disabled with cannibalism. But if we have a look here, human leather pants plus two. The faces on my clothes aren't smiling, but they make me happy. Ah, Dark Avic, never change. Never change. We've also got some cargo pods. What is Randy sending to us right now? Randy has sent us alpaca wool. Not bad, actually. We're going to need to get that in reasonably fast, though. Uh, and we have basically no space to put it in. Well, that is a problem. Um, I guess for the time being we could move some of the packaged meals. In fact, we could move the uh, the wood down here as well, since this is basically just a, an anything storeroom. It is completely enclosed, so it wouldn't uh, decay, and that may be good enough for us. Uh, sure, I'll make the dump storage for the time being, except wood. 
and indeed package survival meals just because we don't need to put them anywhere else uh, and for the time being this one will stop storing these things so that i can move it down without changing the priority of the uh of the storages themselves because ultimately i would much rather keep that as a fairly high priority location there but once we've got that done i'm going to send dark havoc out to grab all of those materials and hopefully that will uh, allow us to get a little bit oh look at that you're eating with the table as well truly height of civility i approve uh but that may be enough room for us to drag some of these down here especially if we can grab a couple of them at once oh uh oh is dark havoc currently restricted i believe he actually might be let's have a quick look no he's on uh, anything ah but wait i hadn't told this one to accept alpaca wool so let's go ahead and uh take care of that would that be under well i would imagine it would be under um raw resources but uh, i guess you only get it by shearing an, uh, an animal so you do manufacture it in a sense but that's fine yokan can can, can, uh, can carry on moving all the food down there that should be fine there we go marvelous but we do absolutely uh, go frenzy thanks to high mood doc Abak has experienced some inspiration he will move faster for the next eight days oh this is fantastic absolutely wonderful we need to grab everything from far away then that we possibly can maybe even some insect jelly oh do we want to rob the hive kind of do when dark Ava can move stupid fast let's have a look at how fast you can move uh where is your move speed 6.13 cells per second an average human is like four so dark havoc is currently moving 150 percent faster than than your average non-enhanced individual i approve enormously of this all right let's get everything taken down there we will try and uh, grab some insect jelly while the insects aren't looking and then hopefully get a little bit more work done besides uh, well you know once dark havoc wakes up a group from Studos Alliance are visiting the colony. They seem to have some items to trade. Now this I wasn't expecting, honestly. Oh dear, are they heading straight for the... I mean, if they want to go straight for the, the insect, I am 100% okay with that. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get down to the insect jelly in time. Uh, we got a little bit distracted, and uh, as such, I'm just going to leave it, because all the insects are awake. That would possibly be a very bad thing for us. Perhaps we can sell some of the pemmican. Uh, sorry, pemmican, uh, the Yorkshire Terrier meat. That may be a useful resource to uh, to sell off, uh, since we're not going to be able to really use it. Uh, mind you, 30 meat. That's three prepared meals if we really wanted them. And I kind of do. Okay, we need to uh, do a little bit of uh, shuffling things around, but I think uh, we could be able to get an electric stove in here. That would be absolutely grand. Uh, it is going to require a couple of benches in there for, for maximum comfort, but I think that's okay on the whole. Uh, Dark Havoc is currently relaxing socially. Let's have a quick look. Recreation is going up. It's, I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, doesn't like the darkness. Slept in cold. It's an awful bedroom. Uh, look, okay. I realize that this isn't uh, the lavish conditions that you are perhaps accustomed to, but this is the, as good as it's going to get for a, a little while. Uh, let's have a look on your health right now. Ooh, a little bit of toxic buildup. It's... Still only 5.6%. Uh, that We can allow that to just deteriorate. But for the time being then, you are now restricted to the roof zone. I don't want you going out for now, Dark Havoc. Hopefully, our friends are going to get close enough that we can trade with them without having to go out. Uh, are they going to get near enough? Uh, sure. It looks like they will. Fantastic. Let's have a look. What have you got to sell? Oh, you've got some nice items, actually. Um, that incendiary launcher, especially is very very attractive to me we would have to sell a little bit of something important in order to get there but uh ooh, let's, have, let's have a quick look at this a uh, wide barreled incendiary bolt launcher the bolts create small incendiary explosions on impact starting fires i would not be opposed to having this at all for those uh, moments where we're just regular gunfire is not going to be enough. We need to cause panic amongst our enemies. That would be a perfect weapon for us. Okay, we'll uh, make up the, the cash that we need. There we go. And then we'll take this. There we are. That should be good enough for me for now. 
Can we get this hauled? No, we cannot. We've got nowhere suitable to put it. Well, I'm going to have to uh, get a little bit more double duty in there then. Let's get that inside so it doesn't deteriorate. We just spent an awful lot of money on it and also several components. But, oh, well, you know, about uh, 500 cash that we had to start with. That uh, wasn't too bad for that one. But we are still going to need to get this electric stove up and running. And with that, oh, well done. Good girl, Yoko. She went for the meat that was going to perish. I approve enormously. Okay, Dark Havoc is enjoying the very first meal cooked in the colony. We managed to get an electric stove up and I queued up a simple meal to be prepared because uh, this meat is almost certainly not going to last long enough. So uh, we used up 10 of the meat. That's all we can really use. We're not going to cook the human meat. That's going to be preserved so we don't need to worry about it. But we do now have a steel stone cutters table in position. We've got plenty of granite around, so there's uh, and indeed slate up here. There's no reason for us to be uh, using pressure steel supplies for construction. It's a nice, easy material to work with, and that is a, a big benefit early on. But uh, what I would really like is to be able to try and get uh, some stone blocks coming in. We can replace some of the metal walls then, especially because they're ultimately going to break down and uh, catch on fire should sappers arrive with uh, relative ease. Honestly, one of the nice things about granite is just how strong granite is. Uh, it's a very, very difficult uh, material to break through once it's been uh, processed into block form, and that is absolutely something that we want to have, at least on this wall, if nothing else. Obviously, getting a wind farm up is still a very, very high priority, but uh, we're making uh, slow progress towards uh, getting ourselves some, uh, some solar power, but that's really not going to be a huge focus for Dark Avax simply because he's not really a researcher. Uh, he has other things, uh, other passions that take most of his attention. So we're going to do a little bit of mining. I'm going to try and avoid digging into uh, the walls where I can. How is his health at the moment? Well, we're actually doing fairly well. So I guess Dark Avax can go back onto an unrestricted, uh, unrestricted zone. And maybe we can even grab some of the metal up here. We do need to get a new grow zone set up reasonably soon. We need food, and that's going to require a sun lamp, and that is going to require a stupid amount of power to run. Hmm. And just past midday on the 12th of April, May, Dark Havoc begins his work on some slate blocks. I've designated all of these to be hauled in, and I've restricted the bill somewhat. We'll make up to 100, we'll pause at 50, but specifically, we're only going to be looking in the bricks that are available in the construction mats uh, stockpile, and we, uh, well, it's a little bit hard to see, I suppose. Let me uh, move the camera around a little bit. There we go. Uh, the limit for where we will look for the, the materials is more or less just this stockpile there. Uh, Dark Ava can at the moment go out and gather any uh, materials from the map that I designate because he's got an unrestricted zone, but at some point we will probably have him uh, restricted again, and at that time I only really want him to gather materials if they're within a safe area to gather them from. So as we start to build up our bricks, we're going to start looking for a place to set up a little farm. Now we don't need anywhere particularly large for this early on. Uh, we want somewhere... Well, honestly, if we use the fertility overlay, I can pick a uh, the best spot that I can find, like maybe right there, in fact. That wouldn't be too bad. It would offer us the largest area, but do I really care for the largest area right now? No, actually, I don't. Uh, for the most part, I don't... Uh, don't particularly worry that it would be uh, the most efficient zone because I'm definitely going to not be making use of it. I just need to get some crops going and Dark Ave is going to have so much other work, I don't want him being too distracted by uh, by field work. So we're going to go ahead and pop something down maybe around here. The other benefit is a smaller room requires less, uh, less energy to heat. That being said, I could use... Uh, grow lights. Now these will require a lot less energy and they're not particularly difficult to uh, to set up. Whereas the sun lamp covers a massive area and it's uh, equidistant in, in all directions. It takes 2,900 watts. The plant growing wall light, much smaller area and it's not quite equidistant. Uh, it tends to have a little bit more room in front of it than behind. But this only requires 600 watts to use. So we're probably going to set up a very, very small, modest grow room 
down here. I think that would probably be uh, the wisest course of action. Okay, so we're going to have a, a tiny little grow room. It won't be uh, it won't be much, but it'll it'll be uh, it'll be uh, good enough for what we need right now. So uh, I'm going to allow Dark Avac to get on with that. I will make the doors out of steel simply because steel doors open faster, frankly. So uh, and that's uh, a little bit uh, more useful to me right now. We're also going to want to expand out our um, our roof zone around this structure so that Dark Ava can move freely around there. There we go. That'll do. And hopefully we can get that done rather sharp. Uh, we might not even need a second wind turbine because much like the grow lamp, the grow wall light will turn off at night. Uh, the plants will rest at that time. You can modify that mod to disable the, the plants uh, requiring a rest period, but honestly, that... As much as a lot of people say, well, well, plants don't need it as long as there's light. Well, yes, but most plants will actually react quite negatively if they're not afforded a period of rest. They actually do require rest. Uh, you'll tend to find um, the the fruit or, or the vegetables will, will be deformed in some way. They might be smaller, they might be uh, less uh, tasty, or the, the leaves can be quite deformed, and that's actually worse because then it has... Uh, in uh, an impediment to how it can uh, gather energy from from light. So plants typically, much like people, need sleep. Uh, not all of them, but the ones that do react very badly if they don't get it. So uh, yeah, I, I find it a reasonable, uh, reasonable thing to have in the game. It doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, right, that's actually going together really quickly. I am very happy with that. We can just bring power up here and then just uh, run down along this wall. We will need a little heater in here, of course, and I might actually stick it in that corner. I don't know yet, though. Uh, let's have a look. We need a little bit of plant growing right there. If we had it brought out by one tile, we could have just those extra tiles, but honestly, it doesn't bother me. Um, in fact, to that end, do we really need a, uh, a, a second door? Probably not. I really only want to access this location from in here. So with that, we can pop down a heater. Now that does need, mean that we need to run power up just a little bit more. So I've wasted a little bit of, of steel on that power line there, but that should be fine. Uh, what do we require? We do need more steel for that. Okay, well, uh, for the time being, this is, I mean, it's not ideal, but it's, well, it's reasonable actually. It's 25 degrees in there. We may actually need cooling rather than heating at some point. But for the time being, let's uh, go ahead and set up a grow zone. There we are. Do we want anything in particular? Well, the soil is 100% fertility, so we could really have any kind of uh, any kind of crop in here that we really want to have. I'll go ahead and have this one, potatoes. Uh, potatoes are a nice staple crop. Uh, but given that the soil is fine, uh, corn or rice would be a nice one. We don't have any rush on food, so I'm going to say that having corn would be the better option for us right now. So let's go ahead and have a, a little thing of corn here. This, uh, as far as I'm aware, corn has some of the, the best yields of, uh, of any plant. In fact, for that reason, we'll pop the corn up there and then we'll have the potatoes down here instead. There we go. That'll be a, a little bit a little bit better for us. And we'll expand that out. There we are. Perfect. Cargo pods again. Fantastic. Randy, you're being too kind. Ooh. Lots of pig skin. I approve. Uh, how far out? Oh, not far at all, actually. But we're not going to be able to fit that in here. Hmm. Okay, we, we do need to uh, to move a couple more things down here, and that's going to include textiles. And textiles will be removed from this area. So first and foremost, let's uh, haul the alpaca meat, haul the dog leather, then get on down here and uh, start hauling the pigskin. Now the pigskin, A, is fairly close to uh, Dark Alex's preferred uh, clothing material, but B, is uh, there's enough here for us to make a couple of things that we might need. I don't think Dark Havoc strictly needs anything right now in terms of clothing, but having a couple of uh, of other comfort items around would be quite nice, I think. Uh, could you please come and grab this, though, before you do anything else? We've got some visitors. The Green Yak Comba are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Well, so do we at the moment, actually, uh, which is uh, rather nice. Let's have a look at your health. How are you doing? Yeah, Dark Havoc's doing reasonably well for the time being. Marvellous. Let's uh, continue planting, though, until our guests arrive, and then we might uh, have a little bit of a chit-chat with them. A bit of a chin-wag. 
Or, you know, we could sleep instead. That's also a possibility. Uh, let's have a look. Well, I'm going to let you have a rest. Let's have a look at uh, Dark Havoc's mood, actually. So, very low expectations. Well, that will go away eventually. Transhumanist overjoyed. Five artificial body parts. How can an enhanced being like me ever feel sad? That is nice to see. Initial optimism. Uh, it's a tough situation, but I'm excited to be founding a new settlement. Uh, received yeoman title. That will go away in 3.6 days. I was entitled as a yeoman. It's good to have my statue recognized. Human leather pants. Well, we've already seen that one. Uh, quite comfortable. I've been very comfortable lately. That's awesome. And Yoko's master. So the awful bedroom slept in the cold and unsightly environment. Really are just being drowned by all of these awesome things going on in Dark Avax. Uh, current situation. I am very pleased by this. Very pleased indeed. Now, I don't like the wind being so low. We want to top that battery up if we can. Uh, oh, yes, I guess someone could come in here and have a, have a quick, uh, quick uh, norm. Uh, we've rested enough. Go ahead and trade. Let's see. What have you got there? Herbal meds. Not bad, actually. Uh, something I wouldn't mind having. But uh, do I really need anything you're offering? Strictly speaking, no. Actually, I don't. So, unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to say no for that one, uh, I'm afraid. Thank you very much for dropping by, though. It's good to see you. Uh, right, we want some steel. So I'm going to go ahead, and at this point, we are actually going to uh, strip down a lot of the items up here. Uh, first and foremost, we're just going to... Can I select them all? Oh, a gift from the Green Yacht Combat. Really? You left me a gift, even though I didn't do anything? Plasteel? I didn't see any plasteel that you had for trade. I mean, sure, okay, I'll haul it, but uh, it comes as a bit of a surprise, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but okay. Uh, right, I don't want to necessarily uh, break down the limestone urns. Those are actually quite pretty, and I would like to keep them. So we're going to carefully deconstruct the walls where we can, just to get that steel. It's very easy for us to, to gather. I'm not going to worry about the brick right now. It's not really... Uh, essential for us. Unfortunately, once columns are built, uh, the, the steely, things like that, you can't move them. But the urns, 100% can be reinstalled somewhere else. Uh, so how about we pop down an urn right there and make the, these rooms a little bit prettier? I think we should. Uh, I'm, I don't really have enough room in there, unfortunately. And yes, we still don't have enough room there either. Oh well, it will eventually uh, improve them, but uh, let's keep an eye on... Ooh, okay, Dark Havoc has uh, decided he wants to go and do that. That's not exactly the most efficient way of doing it, I'll be honest with you. You should probably focus on not doing that, actually, because you're going to hurt yourself. Uh, right, let's uh, keep... 20 degrees is generally going to be fine for everything, and uh, since this room... What's the temperature? It's already 20 degrees, so oh, actually, it'll it'll toggle between low and high depending on what's going on outside. There we go. So we're only uh, drawing 18 watts, so that should actually be fine. This will be drawing its full, uh, full power requirement. So all things considered, on the 14th of April, May, Dark Alex actually in a reasonably good position. I would like to, to improve this room a little bit, and that also necessitates moving that table out of there. Frankly, it's not exactly the best thing for us, but we've got quite a lot of bricks now, so we could have a look at making some stools out of other things than steel. We have a look at this uh, in terms of comfort, 0 0.5. I think the steel stool is exactly the same. Uh, 0 0.5. Yeah, there's no particular beauty associated with it. That being said, we could make some very comfortable armchairs. Hmm, let's have a look. Pigskin armchairs. I mean, it's not human leather, but it'll do, you know. Look, we're, we're, we've just started a new colony, okay? Uh, we, we're going to have to slum it a little bit and accept that not everything is going to be fantastic, but this will do. We'll build it out here to start with, just so that we've got it in a nice... Uh, oh, really? <laughs> oh, Randy. Randy, 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 Randy. Okay, that's going to make things a little bit awkward for us. The refrigerator should be able to manage the meat for Yoko. Uh, but we're going to need to uh, to possibly move Dark Avex's bedroom over here so that we can benefit from the cooling that we're now going to have to build. I spoke far too soon. Uh, okay, let's pop that one down there then. We're going to need to grab more of the steel as well, reasonably soon. That's now going to be a fairly high priority for us, unfortunately. Uh, because this is going to get really, really bloody hot. If we need to, we can make use of uh, the passive coolers. In a small room, it will 100% be able to handle it. But elsewhere, not easily. 
How are we doing for steel up here? We've got very little steel over there. We've got a chonky bit over here, though. Uh, so, let's go ahead and build a roof. Now, my advice... Use structures around the area you're mining. Because if you don't, as you dig back, eventually you're not going to have any support for the roof and it will collapse. And that is going to be bad news bears for everyone involved, really. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just build a single slate tile, uh, slate uh, wall just there. Again, to ensure that we can support this roof. I don't want to have any, uh, any collapses going on. From that tile to this one, we should be fine. From that one to this one, should be fine. So we can actually afford to have a reasonably large roofed uh, area over here. That uh, won't be bad for us at all. And we've got a transport pod crash. Uh, this is an interesting timing for it. Hello, Christian. From the Studos Alliance. If you rescue him, he may join freely. Otherwise, he will return home and spread goodwill between your factions. You can also capture him for recruitment and slavery purposes, but this will anger the faction. Well, you know, there's another option. It's perhaps not the uh, the nicest option to consider, but it is an option. Uh, let's have a look at the gear that you're wearing right now. That's uh, a parker at 94%. Not that we need a parker right now. Uh, okay. Okay, you've got some, uh, got some items there. I am going to... Well, first and foremost, we're going to, quote-unquote, rescue you. Yes, that's exactly what we're about to do. There's going to be rescuing happening. All right, we'll pop this down there. I would like uh, Dark After to immediately head out and grab Christian. Please rescue Christian. Let's bring him back. Now, I'm rescuing Christian first because I don't want to have to deal with hauling all of the clothes. You know, I could have stripped him down there, but then I'd have had to have made several trips to grab all of the materials. No, 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 no. You see, Christian does not have any health care. No. In fact, Christian needs to be uh, removed of their belongings. There we go. Nice. And with that, don't need that bed there. Uh, enjoy, Christian. It'll be a little while. Oh, uh, Dark Havoc has decided that that uh, that his human leather duster, uh, marvelous though it is, way too hot right now. So let's have a quick look. What are your comfortable temperatures? Uh, 35.2 is the maximum comfortable temperature. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's probably going to get up there if I'm honest. It's, it is going to get there. Uh, so we need to try and do a bit of mining as soon as we can, because we need steel for that. Uh, the cooler that we're going to be relying on. Sorry about this, Christian. Honestly, I would have tried to help you, perhaps. Uh, yeah, I would have tried to help you, Christian. You seem like uh, the sort of person that uh, that our colony would, would have approved of. Uh, unfortunately, well, you know, this is the way things are going to go. Yoko is hungry. There we go. Now, unfortunately, this uh, this body, well, it'll spoil in 2.5 days, and that's going to get even worse as the temperature rises. Uh, Yoko may well uh, gobble down uh, parts of Christian. That's okay if... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to butcher him yet. No, 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 we need to suspend that, Dark Havoc. No, thank you. Uh, could you please... Oh, damn it. Let's make sure this is set for corpses. Can we haul... Hmm. Interesting. Is this not configured for corpses? I thought it was. Perhaps we... Oh, we only allow rotten. Ah, uh, I guess so. Uh, what I want, though, is to haul fresh corpses down there. For now, it's fine. Really? Uh, I need to have you restricted. Please stay in the roofed area and only the roofed area for now. Do all of the work that you can do from that location. There we go. That's a lot better. Yoko, you also need to be avoiding that. Well, actually, Yoko is far better and much better behaved than uh, Dark Havoc right now at uh, avoiding those locations. So that isn't so bad of a problem. We've also got a bunch of steel around, so I'm going to have Dark Havoc gather that. Let's grab this now. I'm going to try and bring all of this together if we can. Doesn't look like we can, unfortunately. It would have been better if I could have had them uh, drag them into the same sort of area. But this will do for now. Let's try and get this up and running. There we go. Now this is going to start drinking power from us. Which is really, really quite unfortunate. On the plus side, all we needed to do is keep it uh, below 25 degrees. 
I would say. In fact, we can probably allow it to keep it below 30 degrees because Dark Avac can handle that right now. And uh, that's all we need for this. I will pop the door elsewhere in here. Uh, possibly replace that with a vent. And for the time being, sure, let's, let's go ahead and expand this little room. This can become... Dark Avax bedroom. We can then turn this into a storage room for crafting materials, perhaps. Though, uh, honestly, this zone itself can exist quite happily outside. So I'm going to be incredibly lazy. And we're just going to shift it over here that way. There we go. That will uh, hopefully contain everything we need. Right, Dark Avax. Uh, all I want from you is to go grab this. Now that you've done that, I would like you very much to stay under the roofed area. What is your toxic buildup? It's back up to 2.8%. Oh, really? Okay, that's fine, I suppose. All right, let's have a look in here. Uh, it's being held there. Good. That's not too bad. It is going to take a lot of our power, and that's going to be an issue for us, frankly, uh, and one that we really, really desperately need to get on top of. All right, I would like to move your bedroom across. Pop that there. Yoko, you need to uh, stay in the warm, uh, in the, well, yeah, actually, in the warm, uh, but very much uh, not as warm as it can get. Yeah, though, that being said, you've got a higher t um, temperature tolerance than dark air does, so that's not too bad. Uh, sure, we can have the chair table right there, we have the chair right here as well, and this will make for a much nicer room. Right, let's have this popped down in front of the research bench. Oh, Yoko needs a little bit of extra training. Uh, it seems that, yes, she uh, she had decreased a little bit with her attack training. Well, it's going to happen here and there. There we go. This is why you absolutely... Oh, oh dear. This is why you absolutely require... I knew Randy was up to something with that long uh, pause there. This is why you require someone who has the correct animal training skill, because they may, may be tame, but their training will slowly decrease. Quest available. Hosting a duke. Really? To accept this quest, you need a free bedroom that satisfies the title requirements of Duke uh, Honorius. No. No, we don't, actually. I'll, I'll allow it to sit there for eight days, but uh, just in case, by some crazy turn of events, we end up with one. But a pack of man-hunting cassowaries, oh dear, have entered the area. They will roam the region, hunting for humanoid flesh. They won't attack doors unless they see someone go through the door. Hide inside and you'll be safe. They also won't attack turrets that are powered down. So turn your turrets off to save them. I am deeply concerned about this. How many? Is it just one? If it's just one, oh, that's easy. I mean, in fact, that's good. That's that's food. But still not the best for us. Uh, how long until you spoil? 2.1 days. That's fine for now, I would say. Uh, here comes the cassowary. Now, we could just wait for it to die due to the exposure out here. But uh, for the time being, let's go ahead and get you over here. It's not particularly the best cover. We don't need the best cover. It's not like it's going to be shooting us. Uh, Yoko? I think it's about time for you to get involved. Go for it. All right. Dark Avac, I want you to move back. I want you to stop attacking, basically. There we are. In fact, I want you to move in over Yoko's shoulder. Okay, Yoko managed to take it down without any issues at all. She got a slight bruise on her right ear. Yoko, you truly are the best. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Dark Avac approached Yoko while whispering to himself about chess. I, you know, he's having a bit of a hard time. His current opponent is particularly cunning. Uh, Dark Avac came near Yoko while talking to himself about learning backgammon. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, offered slow, friendly gestures to Yoko. Attempted to discipline Yoko. Why? What did she do? Uh, Yoko scratched the cassowary in the right leg. The cassowary slammed Yoko in the right ear, leaving an enormous bruise. Yoko bit the cassowary in the right foot, leaving a disgusting wound. A bite wound caused, by the, uh, caused the cassowary to collapse weakly. Well, uh, this is now a dead cassowary. Uh, go ahead and... Hmm. Let's make sure... Yeah, I'm going to give you access to everything, and I would like you to hunt the cassowary. Just kill it, please. And then take it indoors. There we go. Uh, oh, we're going to need somewhere to store it. Yeah, of course we are. We're running out of room down here. We do need to expand our room up quite a lot. Go ahead and uh, haul the cassowary, please. 
And once all of that is done, you can go back to uh, remaining under the roofs. I think that's uh, that's a pretty good bit of work there, but I am worried. This is going... Our cooler is going to be running pretty much constantly in order to try and keep the, the heat down. So that's going to be an issue. Our current setup is nowhere near ready to handle that much energy drain. Yeah. Because that's a constant energy drain. With all of the things that we're powering off one windmill right now, that's not good. Dark out, why are you not taking care of Yoko? I insist. I shouldn't have had to tell you that, frankly. My lord, oh, I know what it is. Dark Avid was thinking, well, I need to get the steel so that the room will be cool enough for Yoko. You know, priorities. It's just a bruise. I mean, sure, I could I could uh, treat it right now, but uh, heat stroke is uh, no joke. And it's true, heat stroke isn't any joke. Uh, why did I ever doubt you, Dark Avid? Of course, you had Yoko's best interests first and foremost in your mind. And, and now a cold one, which is probably not cold. It's 33 degrees in there. Yeah, that wasn't a cold one at all. That was a warm one, at best a Luke warm one. But uh, there we are, Yoko is fully healed. There we go, good old Yoko. I'm very, very pleased with this. Uh, how long have we got there? We've got spoils in 1.7 days. We're gonna wait until right towards the end to cut them up. Uh, but we do need to move around some more storage. And uh, frankly, I need some better storage for miscellaneous items. So let's go ahead and set up a storage room specifically now for storing the various odds and sods that we have. It's not going to be particularly large, but uh, it'll hopefully help out. We don't want food in there. Oh. Well, I guess we'll leave it on normal and it can store food. Sure. We don't want anything that's rotten, though. Uh, we certainly don't want any corpses. Um, buildings, I guess. Uh, we don't want raw resources in there. Uh, except... No, we'll we'll remove steel. Plast steel that can stay outside. Jade. Much the same. Gold. Much the same. Uh, we will allow silver in there. Wood can be stored since it will go, go bad otherwise. Uranium doesn't need to be stored in there. That can be stored elsewhere. Stone blocks don't need to be stored in there. That's all fine. Plant matter, sure. And everything else, more or less, sure. We'll, uh, we'll try and organize our materials there, I think. And like that, the heat wave is over. Randy, w were you just hoping to test me? And you're like, oh, well, this is not going to be any fun. Clearly, Dark Avoc is a, is a step above the regular Avoc. He's already got this under control. Hmm. Need to go back to the drawing board. Yes, you do. Please don't, though, anytime soon, because uh, I think that's a pretty good place for us to wrap things up. Dark Avoc has now got a little area which is temperature controlled for keeping his crops and, in fact, himself uh, temperature controlled. Uh, also, we have expanded out our storage and we actually have quite a lot of meat sitting around. I mean, some of this meat is going to go wrong in a couple of days and maybe... If we can get a second wind turbine up, we will think of setting up an actual freezer. That will probably be a good move, if I'm perfectly honest. We'll, we'll see about that, though, in the next episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed this one, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.